I was lying alone in my room when I heard the voice, deep and crackly, coming from beneath my bed. Hey, the voice called out. I just told myself I was just imagining it. Hey, kid, the voice repeated. I drew my knees up to my chest and ducked my head under the blanket, trying to shut out the voice and the cold wind that drifted in through the window, ruffling the curtains. Who are you? I asked. I'm the monster underneath your bed, the voice replied. You mean you're real? I asked. What do you mean? The monster said. Of course, I'm real. Do you have a name? I asked. Of course, I have a name. Oh, well, what is it? Frank. Frank? Yeah, the monster said. Is there something wrong with that? No, I mean, I don't know, I said. It's just not every monster we... Well, my parents didn't want me to be a monster. Really? What did they want you to be? A dentist. That's funny, I said. I can feel myself beginning to smile. What do your parents want you to be? It asked. I don't know. Hey, Frank. Yeah? Are you gonna, like, scare me or something? What? Why would I do that? Well, you're a monster, aren't you? Well, yeah, of course I am. But that doesn't mean I scare little kids. But I thought that was your job. It is my job to scare people, he replied. But only bad people. Am I a bad person? I asked. No, he said, but you're not the one I'm here to scare. Who are you here to scare? I asked. The man inside your closet. The skin and my arms goose fleshed up. I wanted to ask him what he meant, but I fell silent as I heard a rustling coming from the closet. The door creaked open and I could hear soft footsteps padding towards me across the bedroom floor. I didn't dare peek out of the blanket. The footsteps stopped, and I could hear heavy breathing next to me. I squeezed my eyes tight. The warm sanctuary of the blanket disappeared as it was yanked off me. I hugged my arms around my knees and prepared for the worst. A scream shattered the night air, followed by the sound of breaking glass. I opened my eyes a crack to see a knife lying on the carpet next to my bed blade glinting in the moonlight. My parents rushed into the room and asked me what had happened, but I didn't know what to say, only that someone had been hiding in my closet and they jumped out of the window. My parents called 911, and the police came right away. They picked up a man called Gary Thompson, sprinting through the streets a couple blocks away. He was covered in blood and broken glass. They found Gary's car abandoned on our property. Inside, they found duct tape, knives, barbiturates, and a video camera. From what I heard, Gary's lawyer employed an insanity defense, and Gary is currently incarcerated in a state mental facility for the criminally insane. I never heard from Frank the monster again, but the officer who arrested Gary told me that he sleeps on the floor of the facility. He tells the doctor that he's terrified of Frank the monster under his bed.